Another example I like here is uh, Sam Harris. He's a great example of a guy who's stuck on content. He's really stuck on harping on the content of Islam and on the content of religion overall. Because he's built an identity out of being a rationalist. That's his whole shtick. That's his whole career. And it's his, whole, his whole ego is about that. But in, in being so wrapped up and so critical of the content of Islam, he misses the, the deeper structural problems which are really the, the cause of terrorism and problems in the Middle East. So Sam Harris likes to attribute terrorism and Islamism and all this sort of stuff to what is written in the Quran. And his idea is that, well, the Quran is a particularly bad religious book. Yes, the Bible is bad, but the Quran is worse because it's more violent. The, the actual content in the Quran encourages violence. Uh, that's his sort of argument. And um, the problem with that is, is that that really misses the point. The, the thing that's really running the show that's responsible for terrorism and radical uh, Islamists doing bad stuff is low cognitive, moral, and spiritual development on the spiral, which of course is prevalent in the Middle East. And the reason it's prevalent in the Middle East is not because of the Quran. It's because of a long chain of historical geopolitical factors that go back thousands of years, um, which are independent of the, the content of the Quran. And simply because they, their spiral development hasn't been given enough time to rise to stage orange or green or yellow or turquoise. Most of the Middle East Many of the, the, the poorest countries in the Middle East are still stuck in uh, spiral dynamics purple and red. And maybe if they're developed blue, and like if they're really developed a little bit of orange, but mostly it's a lot of purple and red, still a lot of tribalism going on there. But you know, this has to do with a lot of geopolitical factors, it has to do with the temperature, the climate that they live in, it has to do with uh, the geography, the mountain ranges, has to do with the animals that live there, has to do with the farming, the agriculture. I mean, <laughs> there's so many factors. So to reduce all of this to, to, to bad phrases within the Quran is, is quite ridiculous. It ignores the historical context. It ignores the, the structure of spiral dynamics. Um, it ignores the problems of ideology in general. The problems of Islam, Islam are not limited to the Quran or to the Islam. These are general, well-known ideological problems. These are basically, uh, this is basically cult psychology at work. Cult psychology is at work not only in Islam, it's, it's at work in America, in Christianity, but not just in Christianity, in science. So while Sam Harris is overly focused on Islam, uh, he's missing the structural similarities between Islam and Christianity and science, and atheism, and himself. Which is, of course, the whole point of what he's doing. Because the whole point is to separate himself and his culture and his ideology from that of Islam and to put his own on top. That's the whole underlying, never spoken or admitted agenda, which is fueling everything he's doing. Of course, not, none of this can ever be admitted, because to admit it, you'd have to go very meta, just to see it. And it would be very painful to admit that, probably ruin his career. So it's not in his interest to admit that. 